and we've got a great panel here today um, full of experts who are going to tell us how to get films financed today and the uh, type of finance they are able to pull together um, and the services they offer and what they do exactly in their respective roles. Okay, so Andrew, can you just tell us? Yeah, well, uh, as an international sales agent, I think the way that we would <coughs> get involved with uh, either financing or helping with the financing of film is that a producer would come to us with their project you know, the script and the director attached and potentially the cast in place or certainly a good idea of the cast. And then uh, the one thing that a lot of producers ask us for is the sales estimate. So we will review a project based on the elements we've been given and, and sort of estimate what the value will be internationally. Uh, the reason for that is then the producer will sort of use those estimates to go off and try and find the rest of their financing. So they'll go to something like the Film 4 or, or BFI or any other financier and kind of if they're interested, they'll want to know who's selling it and, and how much they're estimating the value will be. The other thing we can also do is if it has very strong elements that even based on the script and the director, you can actually see there's going to be a value in the film. We might try and pre-sell where we're going to into the marketplace to distributors uh, and we're actually trying to sell before the film is made. So we're selling off that director, off that script and off that cast. Uh, that's, you know, that can be done. But it's quite a tricky thing to do. I think you have to have you know, have really, really strong elements because a distributor is going to buy it based on uh, the fact that they know they should be able to make money on it, either because the director is a brand or the cast is really well known or the script is just so brilliant they're going to have to get involved early. Mm -hmm. I, I guess the way we help um, filmmakers get funding, fundamentally we have a crowdfunding platform. Importantly, we're a non-equity based crowdfunding platform, which means you as the filmmaker or the producer keep 100% of the actual project. We're reward based crowdfunding platform whereby <coughs> we work with you, community managers work with you to devise interesting and creative rewards to offer back to people who actually put money th towards your um, project via the platform and these rewards hopefully we can go into more detail later but can vary from one extreme for example um, just a Twitter Facebook shout out in return for five pound donation towards your film project up to the extreme of we've had one project offering for two thousand pounds somebody to go cage diving on shoot with the actual producer and also get a Twitter and Facebook shout out as well. So hopefully we can explore some of those today. Fundamentally we work with an array of um, filmmakers and producers from universities to indies, studios and just people who come to us to find us um, through whatever mean. Thanks. Um, yeah, hi, I, I'm an executive in the Film Fund at the BFI. Um, as Andrea said, the BFI is now the lead body for film in the UK, so we have responsibility for distributing lottery support um, for filmmaking activities. So we're essentially a sort of quite a sort of big support um, system for the British film industry. Um, and it, accordingly, we try and do a whole range of activities which um, help to um, support what filmmakers uh, want to do, what they want to make. and and try to get films to audiences. So there's various components to our fund, including um, a, a sort of distribution activity, um, which has a four million pounds to put into distribution support to try and get films out um, to wider audiences than they otherwise would have done. Um, the bulk of our money and the, and the, the size of our fund is uh, this year is 26 million pounds, um, which, as I said, four million goes into distribution. Um, the bulk of our money is in production support. Uh, this year it's around £15 million. Pounds. Um, and we uh, make awards um, of a, up to around so 25 to 30 films every year. Those awards range from a very small amount, can be £100,000, generally tend to cap out at a million. Um, sometimes it can go higher in special circumstances. Uh, that money is equity finance, um, and the only requirement for that money really is to sit alongside other equity in terms of uh, how the financial structure of a, of a, of a film is made. Uh, we're also um, putting substantial amounts of money into development activities this year, it's around £7 million. Um, we'll go into a range of development things including a business uh, support programme which we've just um, completed called the Vision Awards where we gave 20 companies a certain amount of money to develop their businesses over, over the next two years. Um, single project development, we back around 100, 150 screenplays every year. Um, and we're also uh, putting a substantial amount of money 
towards um, what we're calling the UK Talent um, Network, which is an array of uh, associated bodies who will all be uh, working very specifically with emerging talents um, to try and create a sort of joined up network of people who are working in that area and could share information and develop talent. Um, and we are creating two UK talent centres uh, in partnership with Creative England, uh, one in Brighton, one in Sheffield, um, who will uh, really have the resources and the time and the energy and the expertise to work with our emerging talents. Um, that's anybody who hasn't yet made a feature film to try and develop them in a really rigorous and, and, and proper way so that when they get to make their first feature, they, they're as prepared as possible and they can make the best possible film. Sure. Great, Tony. Um, film 4, part of Channel 4, which is a public service broadcaster. So supporting film is actually part of our remit. It's enshrined in our charter now. We have to support, support the British film industry, nurture and talent new, sorry, nurture and develop new talent. Um, not dissimilar to the way the BFI operates in that we do single project funding. We, uh, we also support some producers through first look deals, but for the most part, it's single project funding. Anybody can apply, although that said, we don't accept unsolicited material. So people do have to be represented by either an agent or have some sort of endorsement from an exec producer. They have, they have to have some sort of introduction to us because sadly the team simply isn't large enough to, to deal with the, the number of submissions we receive anyway. So if we were to accept unsolicited material, we'd, we'd be overwhelmed. Um, we, we invest in, we've got about 125 developments on our slate at the moment, and we receive about 20 new submissions every week and we fund approximately a dozen films a year. It, it used to be a dozen, it was 16 last year, so it, it tends to be increasing with each year. Um, so I'm a producer, my job is to make films. Um, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and I ex exploit all these people <laughs> ruthlessly. Um, no, I mean, my, what, I suppose my job is in two parts. Um, part of it is to raise the money, um, and the other part is to, to spend it. Um, the, the, the job <coughs> raising, I mean, the, the, it's, God, it's such a complicated job. <laughs> but my job is really a sort of, I suppose, um, I look after a film from its inception right through until it's in the archive. So all the different stages that the film goes through, I'm uh, involved with and oversee, um, I don't necessarily do or do the work, but I, I'm, I'm, you know, probably the, the, f the first second opinion for the director, and um, and then my own the, the specific task I do have is to raise the money. <coughs> so I'm always it, the the job is always in, at every stage is in collaboration with other people, and that's key. Um, so uh, at the moment, for instance, I'm raising the money for a film called Jimmy's Hall, which we're hoping to shoot in Ireland uh, at the end of the summer. And, uh, well, it's, it's getting, the, the money is getting close and we have money, hopefully, from Film 4 and from the BFI. Um, and so my job is to um, sort of wrangle the money and get, all, get the whole thing lined up and then to get uh, the, the whole thing on a good legal footing, which is why I would deal with somebody like Geraldine, um, and then, and that goes on side by side with the preparation to make the film. So the script has been in development for the last couple of years, um, and I, I, I mean, every sort of major decision I will be involved with. So I'm involved in choosing, in selecting. The, the main locations, the main cast, the music. Um, oh look! No. Sorry, cue music. <laughs> the music. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's not Jimmy's Hall music. Sure. <coughs> not quite. Um, and then, and then I'm, I, I get involved in. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm involved a bit at the, in the editing process, uh, just looking at cuts and um, entertaining the crew. Um, <laughs> and uh, you know, I tend the the mix, the final mix, the the composing, the the um, the music recording, and actually, strangely enough, my busiest the busiest periods as a producer 
tend to be the stage I'm in right now, and I'm feeling quite guilty for being here because I should actually be sorting out these guys <laughs> with material. But uh, um, so when the money is, fin is finalized and you are closing the deal, that's a very busy point because it also coincides with full-on pre-production. So we shoot in eight weeks' time or six weeks' time. Um, a lot of key decisions are being made and I'm involved with those whilst also making sure that the money's in place and properly covered. The other really busy play time is actually when the film is finished and when, it's, when the director has more or less done their work. My job is actually to get it out there and take it to festivals or whatever and or make sure it goes, gets a good launch. And I'm very much involved in the launching, the marketing, the, the whole presentation of the film from its creation to the audience. So, so I mean, that's my job, the, the whole journey and overseeing that whole journey alongside all my millions of collaborators. Thanks very much, guys, for explaining.